holy cow I didn't film it but I just about bought it coming up that hill it is slick 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 coming up out of here hey guys welcome to a happy new year and a Merry Christmas I haven't posted for a couple weeks but we are starting to go again um, I want to tell everybody out there thank you so much for supporting me this year is going to be absolutely amazing right now I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we're going to be posting in the next uh, probably five or six videos we're going to be doing a dad's versus wild challenge uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys those may be the coolest t-shirts you've ever had on your bodies Marcus okay. with mine <laughs> um, we're going to be working on a 59 uh, Apache truck that's going to be a cool project because that's going to be going to Fab Rats. Um, but we've got a lot of projects coming up. I'm going to show you a little bit, a sneak peek of what's going to happen in 2024. And stay tuned, you guys. We'd love the, the support. Like and subscribe. And thank you so much for supporting us in 2023. And we look forward to a, a fun new year. We are on a mission to pick up the car today. And we're going to get it take it back to my shop and we're going to make baby whole again so stay tuned this is going to be a fun one this is going to be about a four-part series but we are going to be fixing up this car getting it back on the road and you're going to be riding along with us in the snow so can't complain too much it's got to get this car loaded up and out of this spot down here you'll see this is going to be my biggest problem right here. This is a very steep hill coming up out of here. So hopefully we can make it out with the car on. Boy, that's slippery. Oh crap, it's definitely slippery. Here she is, folks. I want to introduce you to my baby. We're going to do some awesome stuff to this car. First things first, we're going to load it on this trailer by myself with that winch. Should be fun. All right, well, okay. Time to get it going again. Uh, okay, well, she's loaded. That's the first time this car has moved in about 17, actually 25 years. That's the first time it's moved. Holy cow. I didn't film it, but I just about bought it coming up that hill. It is slick, slick, slick coming up out of here. She's still on though. She's still hanging on. Woo! That was crazy. And this is a 1967 Chevy Impala. Now, this is a special car to me because I've owned this since high school. Now, the problem is this is a good and bad day, you guys. The good day is I'm actually going to start working on it. The bad thing is, is, you remember those stupid things you did in high school? This car reminds me of things like that. So when I graduated, I had another car that I needed parts for. Well, this was a four door. So every four door that you guys know of, they're parts cars, right? Well, the show Supernatural came out. This became one of the most popular cars in the hot rod industry for a certain type of people. The guys that were chasing ghosts. Ghost. I'm going back to the car now because I had another car that needed a window channel. In my infinite wisdom as a 19 year old kid, I decided to cut this, come in here. <clears throat> I decided to cut this all the way out. Not just the window channel, I cut all of this out. Now, which leads me back to today. So before I can put this car back together, I've got to fix this. If there's anybody watching this that can give me some advice, I'd love to take it. But the idea is 
I'm gonna take this off, peel this back, and basically rebuild it one piece at a time. This is three different layers. The reason this is so difficult, you can't just patch a panel, is because here's one piece, there's an inner piece right here, and then you've got the dash piece. There's three separate pieces, three layers, and then they all end up being at the pillar. So <clears throat> let's take a look around here. Luckily, um, on my Montana trip, and I'll show you guys that right now, that was a four-door hardtop, but it was pretty bad when I got it. Look at all these cars. This is like pure heaven. Let's look around here. I was able to find a donor car. It was, just so you know, that you're uh, worried that I cut this off of another car. The car was demolished. Somebody cut the whole rear out. It was done. So I cleaned up the rest of the way. So I bought this whole panel and another car from the, the salvage yard. So I've got to take this apart, take that apart, and I'm gonna be making this and that into one car. So come walk around this car. Now, a lot of you guys out there are saying, is this even worth saving? Yeah, it is. Because for me, it's personal. I screwed up a really cool car and this car, no joke, right now, with this fixed and the front end on, is probably worth 20 grand. I kid you not. Go look at the prices on these four-door 67 Impala hardtops. It's crazy. So come around here, please. Let me show you. <coughs> and a working door. The best part about this car is it is so rust-free that you would not believe. You see this right here? This looks rusty. This is 100% surface rust. It doesn't have any rust on this. It's got a little tiny bit in the back window channel, but as far as the inside, rust free. This is the way it sat since I was 19 years old. So to give you a little bit more look here, <coughs> I'm gonna have to take, I'm probably gonna end up cutting these off at the bottom and just replacing this whole piece with this over here. It's probably going to be easier just to replace the whole piece, but um, yeah, just take a look at it on the inside. Like this has been open to the elements, so the back seat, the bottom is toast. I took the bottom piece out because it was gross and I didn't want it to be, uh, didn't want it to rust more. But yeah, this is how she sat. Let's take a look in the trunk. And... That's another thing, all the doors open. For you guys that have worked on these, that's like a pain to get all the doors to work and they all work, so that's a cool thing. So I had to go get my key, my trunk key. Anybody that ever worked on an old uh, Chevy car, first thing you do, because you don't have keys, and I learned this the hard way, so I mangled this a little bit. You screw out the lock and then you find the little slot in here and voila, boom. Okay, this is the trunk. This has all the rest. In fact, I'm pretty sure, and this has been a long time since I've opened this, but I'm pretty sure this is all the chrome and this part of the dash. This is one of the original spare tires. This is a bias ply. And then this is the other, this is the other door panel that I took off. Um, I've got the steering wheel, so the original steering wheel here, the visors. Um, this was an AC car. It's going to be an AC car, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. But come check this out, okay? <clears throat> this is like hasn't been touched. Um, so here's the heater control. It even has all four hubcaps. Check this out. I've got all the hubcaps. Uh, you can't see them, but I'll dig those out. Here's the eyebrow pieces. Um, here's the rear tail section. I have both of those. They're in there. Anyway, so for you guys out there that are wondering why I would be working on this car, I've got all the pieces to put this bad boy back together. In fact, I remember buying these 
these eyebrow pieces here. These are some good used. This car is gonna be a driver. This car isn't going to be a show car. This car is gonna to go to shows, but it's gonna be a driver. Here's these hubcaps. These are the original hubcaps from this car. So yeah, this car at one time when I was 19 was probably one of the most pristine four doors and check out this uh, paint. This paint is the original paint color. So pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to this or go black like everybody that's doing Supernatural cars are gonna do. But what it is gonna have is a 5.3 LS with the 4.60 LE, 4L60 E transmission. And that's probably the most important because I wanna drive this, I wanna enjoy this, and in the winter time, I want this to start every time. I'm gonna take the seat out, this back seat frame, and yeah, I won't bore you guys. I won't bore you guys with that, but this car's getting saved. And like I said, this is redemption. So we're gonna call this uh, the Supernatural Redemption car. And it's probably gonna be a four part, five part series but comment below if you guys are interested in seeing this thing get back on the road and let me know. But I'm going to clean this thing out. This is going to be the first episode and that's it. <laughs> so to take out these seats, it's pretty easy. The front, the bottom actually flips out and then the top's only held in by two uh, bolts. So once you get the two bolts out, then it's as easy as, and I mean easy as maybe rust on. Oh yeah. back got all four bolts out of the front so I can take the seat out now there is eight bolts to get this seat out it's pain the butt but first step on cleaning the rock I have a really nice seat that came out of the same car that I got that that donor firewall from and that's what's going back in here. So this isn't going to get reused. Although she might still have some more in her. Maybe set it on the porch at one of the cabins. Same that the redneck cabin. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring you guys in here. She's clean. I'm going to get this all vacuumed out. I got this all sucked out. But these four, oh, holy cow, are you, are you serious? Dude, I guarantee some farmer is wondering where his crescent wrench went. That's, it's good still. Oh yeah. What a fine little, little WD-40. Probably not, that's never gonna come out, but I'm gonna try. It's got some red on it. So, yeah, that was somebody's sprinkler changing crescent wrench. Anyway, yeah. Clean all this out. And I'll be ready to start taking the dash apart. I don't know if you're like me or not. But when you're cleaning out an old car... Is it like a treasure hunt to you? Because look at this. Yeah, that is a original gas tank cap that was under the seat. This thing is like a quarter pound. It is really good metal. That is a cool find right there. 
And then the front is better than the back. So the front is absolutely perfect. No rust. It all kind of went down to the back and then, yeah. It's amazing. I failed to mention as well. So I found these tires and wheels. They were on a Camaro. Some dude was selling them. And uh, yeah, dude, if you know, you know, those are supernatural wheels. So those are chrome, they're rusted. They will clean up. I'm gonna show you the before and after on these, but yeah, I've got supernatural wheels. The tires are pretty junk. They're pretty dry rotted, but yeah, the wheels are, uh, the wheels are correct and way more, way cheaper than buying them online. All right, there you got it. So this car has had more love in the last day than it's had in 42 years. So I'm pretty sure, I want to check the license plate, but this is the original license plate. Okay, this car has not been on the road since nine of 1989. Yep, nine of 89. Okay. That is when I was 10 years old, this, the last time this thing. This car has not been on the road for 35 years. Inside is clean. So it is all clean. Like I said, check out those rust. That is, I mean, there's a couple pinholes that I could see. This one was the worst, but look at the front. There is no rust and then these right here i think these are these will pour 15 out i can i can convert these uh scrape that off and i think there's enough metal to really just fix these so i mean wow <clears throat> for you guys that work on any old cars tell me that this doesn't get you excited when I'm sitting back at home, like where you are right now, I think to myself, you know what? That would be fun to spend some time. I'm gonna get my kids in on this. Mostly me, we'll be honest. But uh, I've got a daughter that loves the Supernatural series. And so this is gonna be fun to be able to take her for a ride in this when I'm done. But I wanna tell you guys, thank you very much for sticking with me. And please share the word because these things are expensive. I mean, you guys understand that have worked on cars before. These don't pay for itself. This, like I said, is gonna be a five part series because of time and money, but I am gonna get it done in 2024. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.